are scheduled for lane number three right now is Jim Campbell. But Jim Campbell opting to sit this one out. He'll have a couple of shots tomorrow to try to fight his way into the field. Rod Caps, folks at Napa Auto Parts, Napa Auto Care, Yazoo Toyota. Folks at Dean Antonelli, crew chief earlier today. He said, well, and he said, we're about 10 runs behind. We wanted to bring out the new car in Gainesville, but with all the weather in Gainesville, they canceled a couple of test sessions down there. So they ran the old car. Decided to bring the new one out last week. He said, it's going to be fine, and I just need a couple more runs to get a baseline. Here's run number one of a couple more runs. Dan Wilkerson to the folks at Skag Power Equipment. You got some grass to cut? Need some construction equipment? Need some? You got to check out the display of Skag over at Manufacturers Midway. That's why they're here. How's the look in a bit? TransactionLaw.com, the hot for teacher machine. Red Shirt Friday. And welcome to the club, the three second club that is. Rock Caps goes 405 for the Napa machine. And a 428 for Alex Milodinovich. Alex's car looked like it was running all right on the early part of the racetrack, slowed to only 281 miles an hour. He'll have to fight his way in tomorrow. Joe. But Tim Wilkerson, 99 up on the board. This thing's coming together. Well, the, the first run there, we just made bad mistakes. And uh, real real proud of my, my Skag Power Equipment team. They, them guys really do a super job. And we had to put a motor in it between rounds because I made a bad bad call. So, uh, yeah, that's a good start. Tomorrow we'll see if we can make it go a little faster. I, th I mean, there's a mid-90 out there, no doubt. Hagen made it, made it look like it was pretty easy. So, uh, well, we'll see how it goes. Well, Hagen went 401, but Tasca made it look easy. Just John Forrest, sorry. Yeah, well, he went 396, so yeah, he did. Well, John Forrest has been making things look easy for 